you're going to pay another another uh, installment tomorrow uh, on, on on 18th uh, 500 million uh, dollars uh, I want to get into the the nitty gritties of that and how exactly are you managing that one of the things that that countries like I want before we get into all the 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 deep conversation about this I want to get your reaction to what um, Fitch ratings did uh, what I don't understand I'm a layman I'm not an economist so what I don't understand is in order for our economy to be better we have to do business uh, in order for our uh, foreign um, direct investment to be better we need investors from foreign countries to come here and invest their money this is the simple logic that I understand now an organization Fitch ratings uh, standard and poor's uh, they come and uh, say oh this country is bad to do business how are we gonna get I mean we are down the gutter and they are still kicking us what is what is your response to these organization because you have clearly set up we are paying the 500 million. We have never defaulted. This country has done very well in terms of, you know, keeping our promises to our to the world. We've done all of that. We have a good project coming in. The Port City project is slowly picking up. We have other investments occurring. Uh, ma major countries are very interested in Sri Lanka and they want to come in. All this is happening. But apparently, these two nonsense organizations is not getting it. Are they... Uh, getting educated in a different college or something. Yeah, actually, you are very really right, uh, Mahesh. Now, if you really look at it, we have been first told that many people, the so-called pundits that you referred to at the beginning, they said Sri Lanka will be never able to pay this debt because their reserves are falling. Yes, I remember. And that we won't have the money. If you go through some of your clips, yes. I'm sure you'll see plenty of those. <coughs> then what happened was, we diligently accumulated our reserves and we also said, that by the 31st of December, <coughs> sorry, 2021, we will have at least $3 billion in the kitty. We did that. You did that, yeah. We did that. And once we did that, I think some of these pundits were quite alarmed that we will definitely mm -hmm. pay the debt. And then they, what did they come and say? Notwithstanding the fact that they have been saying right along that all hell will break loose if we don't pay, now they come back, and I was surprised to see some of the names there, they come back and say, hey, don't pay this. Now, I, I just couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that supplement where it said a series of people, uh, some uh, supposedly quite... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know, uh, quite the, uh, the key members uh, key of this opposition. And they are saying don't pay it. And they themselves have been saying what kind of a yes. catastrophe yes. would occur if we don't. Now, uh, we leave that aside. But now we are going to pay that. And we are also ensuring that all the debts in the future are also paid. I brought a little chart, normally do, yeah. I don't, uh, Mahesh, yeah. but I thought I'll bring this today because I wanted to show this to you. Now, when we took office, at, at least when President Gotabi Rajapaksa took office, he had reserves of $7,642 million. Now, that was a reserve. This was uh, on the after 19th winning of the war, after going through all that, and by 2015, four or five years down the line, we had that. Yes. Now this was. Uh, now when I left the central bank in 2014, 14. end, it was 8,204 million dollars. However, even after borrowing 12 billion dollars, the previous governors and the previous government could leave only 7,642 million dollars in the kitty for us. Now with that, we have been managing, and mind you, we have settled something like $12,443 million so far. So from a reserve of 7,642, mm -hmm. you cannot settle 12,443 unless you have been able to do something to bring inflows in. Now what my point is <coughs> very clearly that we have been bringing the inflows in yeah, yeah, yeah. and that is why we have been able to make these payments. Yeah. So now even at the end of 2021, we have had a reserve of 3,138 million dollars and we are gradually increasing that now just a few days ago you realize you, you saw how the we have negotiated with the Indian government yeah. to have a swap facility as well as uh, ACU facility both of which is about 900 million dollars uh, next week or the week after we'll probably have another 500 billion dollars governor what exactly does this mean uh, when it comes to currency swap now this is a new term <coughs> that is coming into the conversation uh, earlier on it was the Chinese debt and then uh, during the election time and then it, it, it uh, slowly transferred into debt 
Now everybody was talking in, uh, about debt and suddenly we see currency swap. Now I am speaking from a point of a layman who does not understand any of this and le he hears, he, she hears currency swap. What exactly does well, this currency mean? Currency swap is actually a form of a facility that is generally done between two central banks in this particular context. Of course you can do swaps with others as well. But in this context of what we are talking now, uh, Mahesh, it is where the Central Bank of Sri Lanka, let's say to the Reserve Bank of India, we provide them with rupees to the value of $400 million. So that $400 million worth of rupees at the current exchange rate is provided to the uh, Reserve Bank of India. And in turn, the Reserve Bank of India is giving us $400 million. Now the security, if it were, for this particular $400 million is a rupee deposit that we are making with them and they make a deposit of $400 million with us. So it's a swap between... So this is not a loan? <laughs> it, is, it is a form of a loan but this is a loan where we have also given them a loan. You see, uh, if, I, if you see, I, as I mentioned at the beginning, we give them a loan of uh, the equivalent yes. of $400 in million rupees. in rupees which they hold with them. They give us the equivalent of $400 million in dollar terms and that's an exchange of these funds.